parameters and let's go forward so you should be aware that these parameters and change them will change how your this uh, processes in this case by the splint will sit on the tissue and now I'm going to design my prosthesis check the integrity it depends on your design ideas you can put this over the gingiva like this but the hygiene will uh, be an issue or you could go up till the middle of the tooth and the retention will be an issue you should choose between retention and the hygiene but I prefer the root of the teeth be out of the bite splints okay and we have occlusal thickness as you can see here It's almost 2.5 and I think that's a good number the prefer thickness 0.1 means here it's almost 0.1 and a smoothing 3 millimeter that is show how it smooths the surface and in case that I add this number the surface should be more polished as you can see it's more polished and you can uh, tell the software where the posterior teeth are and I tell the software this is my posterior part and it get flattened as you can see but before that uh, I prefer to do a little bit uh, sink and I prefer to use articulator so as you can see the calculations are not uh, on proper position of uh, this and in this case yeah this is far better don't modify scan data open the articulator okay and actually I prefer to open the articulator by three millimeters or maybe more four millimeters okay because I don't want to uh, distal test to get moved and this looks good uh, condylar 35 degrees 10 degrees Bennett angle immediate size shift 0 I'm happy with this settings and I run the articulator okay so now I'm going to
design my splint. 